So in this video, I want to go over testing inside VS Code with Mocha. So I've got a simple project here. I've got a math.js file that just exports a simple add function, and I've got some tests for this add function. Um, so just a real quick, uh, it's using Mocha and Chai. I've got describe add, a couple of tests to test this, what this looks like. Now I can really easily go set up Mocha um, to run on the command line and watch so I can run my tests all and, and see them there. But I want to be able to test see my output in my in, in VS Code, and I want to be able to, to run specific tests for what I'm working on those things. So I'm using the Test Explorer UI package for VS Code along with the Test Explorer Mocha package to, to work with specifically with Mocha. Um, so I can come over here and I can just say run, and it's going to run all these tests. So I get nice results here, and I get nice results over here in the sidebar, which is great for, for bigger projects that have lots of tests to see there. I can also say, so if we know this, this test is broken and I rerun this test, I'll see that it shows up. That, no, see, so I have to save the file because it runs off disk, not what's in memory. Um, and now I can hit run. And I see this this fails. I see the, the message here, expect the three equal four, as we just change that. So I can change that. And now the nice thing is, I can just, I've I, I bound these to my keywords. So let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, preferences. Keyword shortcuts, and I'm going to say test explorer. So I've bound command KT and command KR to run tests in file and to run this test. So I can say command KR, and it's going to rerun all of my tests, right? And I didn't save it. Or I can command KT, and it'll just rerun this test and give me that updated output. Which is fantastic. So it's really nice to be able to see really quickly in, a, in the the, uh, the editor here which tests are passing, which ones are failing, and see the message for why. So now let's go over here and let's add another function. Subtract uh, a b return b minus a. We're gonna add a subtract here. Let's import that subtract. Function here in the tests now describe subtract it returns negative two and subtracting two minus four. Expect subtract. Two, four, two equal negative two. Save this. And then command K T again. We'll see expected two equal negative two, and that's not what we want. So we're gonna use the built-in debugging tools now. So I come over here. I'm gonna add a debugger, and we'll say I've I found that. Uh, I've had trouble using the built-in breakpoints in VS Code with this, so I just I tend to default to the JavaScript debugger. Now I'm going to hit debug, and then I can run this, and it should drop me you know, right here where I want to be. And I can inspect these things so I can see A is 2, B is Four, and I say B minus A, and obviously that's wrong because these should be A minus B. So we can debug this, we can find our problems. All right, and now I can get out of the debugger. Um, we're confident we fixed this. Command K, T again, and now all my tests are passing. So this gives me one, it gives me really quick feedback uh, if my tests are passing, if they're failing. It gives me messages when they do fail. It allows me to run specific tests uh, and, and look at those things and run the debugger on those tests right inside VS Code. And I find this a, a very nice, efficient way to run my tests. Um, so hopefully this is helpful, um, helps you do write more tests, write them more frequently and faster and more efficiently. Uh, thanks a lot.